Indeks harga konsumen kembali menunjukkan perlambatan laju inflasi di Amerika Serikat. Secara bulanan tak terjadi peningkatan harga, sementara secara tahunan indeks harga konsumen naik 3,2 persen. Pelemahan ini mendapat respons positif meski angkanya masih melebihi target Bank Sentral AS atau Federal Reserve sebesar 2 persen. It is certainly very encouraging data. However, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean the flight fight is over. When you actually look at more recent three-month annualized change data and you look underlying at the components, you'll st- still see that in the last three months, we still have some areas that are showing month-over-month change in the upward direction. Sementara indeks harga produsen yang memantau harga di tingkat grosir turun secara tak terduga sebesar 0,5 persen dibandingkan bulan sebelumnya. Data seputar laju inflasi yang cukup mengembirakan ternyata tak membuat konsumen AS makin optimistis. Bahkan indeks sentimen konsumen yang dihimpun oleh University of Michigan terus menunjukkan penurunan dan saat ini berada pada angka terendah sejak Mei tahun ini. Beragam konflik di luar negeri dan juga ketidakpastian politik secara domestik ikut menekan sentimen konsumen. Perkembangan ini mempersulit pekerjaan The Fed. Inflation really can be a complicated figure because it's influenced by really two components. So there are the actual changes month over month and year over year in terms of where prices are headed, but there's also expectations about prices and that's very important simply because consumers will alter their behavior and potentially even influence where prices may head based on their expectations. Perceptions are sticky, meaning that it takes a long time and a big effort uh, in order for the uh, opinions to change. Uh, yes, we are seeing high prices, um, but you know the rate of inflation has been coming down. But most people say, yeah, well, the prices aren't coming down. What they forget, though, is that uh, what is being measured is the year-on-year change, uh, not the fact that we're likely to see deflation where prices back go back down again. Semakin banyak pelaku pasar dan pelaku usaha memperkirakan Bank Sentral tak lagi akan menaikkan suku bunga acuan tahun ini maupun memasuki 2024. Our expectation is that inflation will continue its stair step down to about the 2.2% year on year change for the core PCE, the personal consumption expenditure reading that the Fed likes to look at. So between now and this time next year, our feeling is that we will be substantially lower. There could be a month or two in which we end up with flat readings. Uh, I don't really expect any backward movements meaning uptick in inflation along the way. Ekonom Goldman Sachs kini memperkirakan The Fed baru bakal menurunkan suku bunga paling cepat kuartal terakhir 2024. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.